Oh, uh, thank you. And um, yeah, I want to talk about my uh, story about myself and my life in Korea and in here. But not all things, that's part of my life story. And um, maybe you guys know my name is Eagle in school, but my real name in Korea is Hyungil Chan. So, um, I was born in Gwangju. Gwangju is located in southwest uh, of Cor in Korea. And the Gwangju is uh, located in here, as you can see. And um, this city is the sixth largest city in my country. And um, yeah, and then uh, this city is famous. They are uh, rich and uh, diverse cuisine, like this picture. And um, yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, <laughs> but my family had to move to uh, Seoul, Seoul is the capital city in like Korea, and um, and you can see Seoul is here. So we moved to there when I was nine. And uh, this is my family. There are four people in my family. Um, those are my parents and my sister and his brother-in-law and his nephew. And uh, so. Um, during elementary school, I have to I had moved for times, uh, three times in junior high. I moved one time because of my daily job, and um, when I after uh, every time when I moved to another school, I I lost my friends because at that time we had no cell phone. We only have phone, but uh, my friends they changed the, the phone number, but I didn't any get email or text and nothing. So I lost friends many times. So uh, I was struck to. Uh, make new friends when I went to the junior high because I want I don't want to my broke my friends again, so I really really stressed and I my school days was not happy and um I was very depressed at that time, so uh, I went to those schools in eleven for six years, and then for three years I moved to to school. So um, but my parents couldn't care about me because they were busy to work and um, so I preferred to be alone and I didn't make a new friend even I had no dream and goal in my life and but I had to get a good grade at the school for my parents expectations and um, but uh, in 1997 the IMF crisis hit Korea and it was big a uh, subject to understand for um, just ordinary middle school students like me and um, during that period of the IMF, um, many employees lost their job because many big companies, they went into bankruptcy. And then, and then also many families, they broke, all, broke up all of a sudden um, because when after their breadwinners got fired. And then my dad was no exception. After he lost his job and our family suffered uh, the economic hardship. After high school, I started to study uh, fashion design at the university because at the time, the online fashion business uh, was growing rapidly. So I dreamed to be a rich and by running my own online fashion business someday. And then, and after that, I joined uh, Harry Animal Club. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, the club. And uh, yeah. I went. I, I I joined the party planner club when I was a freshman because I really wanted to change my personality of the past to be a uh, positive, active, and um, sociable. The club activity activity is really helpful to develop my personality, and uh, we went to a lot of club. Uh, <laughs> not only club, and. Um, a party together, and um, I I learned from that the members how to enjoy your life, how to make friends, how to hang out with uh, new people. And uh, when I was a sophomore, I entered the military service. The service is mandatory in Korea because our relationship in North Korea, and then so all high Korean men have to service uh, in the army for around uh, for about two years and it is really extremely hard to get out of it. The military life uh, was really harder than I thought because there had been uh, violence, abuse and harassment and threat to against to private. So it's, it's as you can see this is me and then my, my, my looking like 
oh mm -hmm. my goodness, I have to make a smile like this, but I don't want to cry right now. At that, that moment, I was, you know, so many emotional things to come to my mind, and um, this was a horrible <coughs> moment for me. So, and um, as time went by, I could adjust to army life, and then suffering made me stronger. And um, as time, and then, uh, in June 2007, I was uh, released from the army, finally, and I returned to the university to finish my degree. And um, after graduation, I started to work at uh, a women's apparel company in 2012. Uh, it was not easy to work with a mean boss, but um, I worked as best I could. Um, and I, and I, I worked there for a year and a half. But uh, something happened to me one day. Uh, it changed my life. One day, uh, I got insulted by uh, the mean boss. And then, I don't know why, but for nothing, it was nothing. But he grasped my, grasped my color and then cursed me in front of co-workers. And then I was really, really shocked and he was really embarrassed to me. And um, so I just quit the job and I was traumatized for a while by this that experience. So I returned to my parents' home and I took a year off. And during the break, I made a plan to study abroad, but nobody supported my plan except my sister because at that time I was 30 years old and I nobody think that that plan is good because I have to start to new something and I have to change my major, I have to go to school again, but I already 30. And it's in, this, in Korea, if you over 30, people think that, oh, you have to have a job or something. If you don't have, your life is failed. So it was a hard time for me. But um, despite all of the worries, I just pushed ahead my plan. So I came in America in April 2015. And the plan was re reckless. Even I couldn't speak English well, and, um, but I got a lot of help and support from many people whenever I needed it. And uh, those people I met at church and school and outside, they gave me uh, their unconditional help. So I was deeply touched by them. And I have, um, I have a, lot of, a lot of forgettable memories with them. All the memories and experiences changed, and changed me in a great way. And so um, it began to love myself and I feel a hope I lost. So I decided to be a nurse to help other people. So it will not be easy, but I believe now I can. Thank you for listening.